Okay, the variable flow exhaust valve. I really like the way it came out, so I'm just gonna show you quickly how it goes together. I think most people have seen this type of valve before, so just turn the lever and it flips it. And don't watch this if you're not interested in the exhaust system. If you have the exhaust system already with the quick release, this is meant to go with that uh, or integrate anywhere in the exhaust system like at a wide joint or in a straightaway or on a manifold so it's really specific to people who are interested in this and or interested in the way it's designed so so a little closer up now very straightforward i think there's only four parts the body itself obviously the shaft that runs up the middle in white in this print and a red um, valve plate and then the handle that goes on the outside. Sorry, there's a fifth part, which is this little clip that holds the handle on. Otherwise, there's no hardware, except I do have, uh, I often do that, except, uh, there's no hardware except, uh, there's one piece of hardware and that is an O-ring. I have a 15 by 1.5 millimeter O-ring in here. And that's really contributing to some of that uh, friction that allows me to put it in place. So I think it's important from that perspective but it's also what's gonna seal this because the backside has no openings. It's only through this side where the handle goes in that there's an opening. So the O-ring helps to give that a, a tighter fit and I think will give you a really good uh, seal on this whole assembly. So let me show you how this goes together. Okay, these are the parts that make up the print and um, I had to include some support on two of the parts and I only want to show that quickly pretty intuitive what you need to do but I found this one quite difficult to get out so I just wanted to show you that if you print this part expect that to be a little bit difficult to get out and I did that as tight as I did because I wanted this to be a really clean edge in here for the clip to go in and I achieved that but you can see the the, the um, supports a little bit resistant to coming out so anyways that's one's out that's clean that's all there was to that this one's also pretty straightforward uh, i had to put a little support under the bottom side here to create these grooves i want the grooves on both sides i wanted this to be able to go in either way that's why i did it like this how this works is there's a little almost like a barb on each side on each side of this plate uh, inside the groove you can see the notches in the shaft and so when this goes on once those find each other this wants to stay in place and when this end gets pinched together of course these now really want to stay in place so this doesn't want to come out and so when you put that i'm going to switch to a red one just so you can see it a little bit easier when i put the shaft in from the outside so like that once you get in close, I have to now force the ends of the shaft into the hole or the recess on the far side, which is like the pivot point. And when you do that, these little barbs here should hook into the plate uh, while well, the shaft and the plate should mate together. And now that doesn't can't come out because this side's holding it together. Okay, in the middle of that recording session, I learned that it's important to check before you try and assemble the shaft into the body with the plate, valve plate, is make sure that the, the shaft slides in and out of the handle relatively easily. It's a tight fit, but if you have any burrs or anything on it, then it becomes a binding fit and that will impede you a little later. So uh, just make sure it goes in and out and you should get all the way to where the notches that correspond to the slots in the handle here these two things should line up. So make sure that's happening. You can actually pre-assemble this if you want. There's no downside to that. You can even put the clip in. You can even put the O-ring on, which I'm gonna do so that I don't forget. And then we'll go back here, put the handle in, but not all the way in, just like this mount the plate in or insert the plate with the notch on the top and then try and wiggle it in until the ends of the shaft get into the recess on the opposite side and at the same time these little notches in the shaft meet the 
protrusions on the, the valve plate and like that and then just work it a little bit and you can see how it got free all of a sudden that's when the o-ring popped into the mating slot on the body so that's now in place the red part of the handle on the inside is flush with the inside of the of the valve body as well and everything moves quite easily so it's very straightforward and if we wanted to disassemble this um, all you really want to do is take something that you can get on each side like a, a knife and just pry this apart so these teeth open up from the plate like that and do that on both sides simultaneously and then pull the handle out and you can disassemble it if you don't pry those and they're seated well then this can't pull out of course if you want to use this you need to uh, fully assemble it with the ends and that puts the grooves on it that allow it to mate with my quick release head so you can quick release or you can just put hose and hose clamps on there and the groove that you see uh, sorry the ridge that you see here mates with this mounting bracket so that goes on this goes down and you can still use the valve and that's now locked in place by the by the mounting bracket so uh, that's the fully assembled piece if you are gonna build all of this uh, make sure you look at my original exhaust system posting and video with all the instructions and parts and part numbers there Anyways, I hope it's useful to you. And if you have feedback, let me know. Um, now I've got that done. I've got a couple other cool things to post, so I'll get on to those.